A fășit pragul hotarelor țărișoarei noastre, deja mai mulți travel vlogger. Unui, unii au făcut-o din curiozitate, alții poate pentru vizualizări și să scoată în bileag părțile negative ale țării. Să știți că de această dată avem ocazia să intervievăm un travel vlogger care vrea să scoată o parte bună, partea plină a paharului. Alături de mine este Conor. Bine te-am găsit și bine ai venit în Moldova! Bună ziua! Srasvice Privet from the capital of Moldova. I am back in Chișinău. It's been two years. And I'm standing right beside the epic, the infamous stairwell that was featured by my friend Mr. Bald in his video. Now I'm in the very center of the city. This is the Oxford Street of Kishinev, the capital city, right? But check this out. I want to show you something. Prasti. Look at this. This is how little the government has done for this city. That even here, in the very center of the nation's capital, look at it. Look, there's bloody steps missing. No one's done anything. And check out this. This is the wheelchair access. I mean, imagine trying to push a wheelchair up here with like two uneven bits of metal. It's a disaster. He highlights just the dilapidated state of central Chisinau. It is a capital city in Europe and it's pretty hard to imagine when you see the stairwells around here. But his video did provoke the local government to go and actually repair. They've actually renovated this one already, which was the original one. And I see they're starting to work in the others. Uh, so that actually shows exactly the impact and the influence by exposing, uh, you know, just how bad things were maintained here in Chisinau and a lot of the reasons why that happened, corruption being obviously one of the big problems here in Eastern Europe in general. But I did notice that in defense of the government here that compared to two years ago, the city does look uh, a bit better and a bit better maintained. So let's go on a little tour of Moldova here for a few days and see exactly what I can offer you, the visitor, if you're brave enough to come here after seeing Mr. Ball's video. Bye, Italy. Sar Experience. What is this called in Russian, this game? Narda. Narda. I'm not sure about <laughs> how it should be. Don't kill me. I'm a shy person. I don't believe that at all. <laughs> <laughs> You're not shy. <laughs> Soroka, since you like to go. Soroka. Krikova. So big. Uh, Castel Memia also is very beautiful. Look at it. This is like something in Afghanistan. This isn't Europe, surely to God. So definitely one thing that Moldovans take very seriously is their wine production. It's like a national obsession. Vin, vino, whatever you want to call it. Here, it's one of the biggest things that almost every Moldovan family does. And did you know that Moldova houses the two biggest wine collections in the world? And both of them are in two very interesting underground cellars very close to the capital, Chisinau. The first one is Milesti Mich which has a whopping 2 million bottles of wine, which are housed in uh, underground labyrinthine roadways that stretch to 200 kilometers. And then you have Krikova, which has a mere 120 kilometers of uh, cellar uh, roadways underneath the ground. It's pretty mad, the whole thing. And actually, Krikova is also interesting because it houses many uh, famous wine collections, for example, uh, after the Second World War, at the end of the Second World War, the Soviets managed to capture the private wine collection of one of the Nazi leaders, Hermann Göring, and they brought a large part of it to, you guessed it, Chisinau and the Krikova wine cellars. 
This is the home of wines. We are entering the home of wines here. Uh, in those, the battles that we are seeing here is no wine. We are empty. Breakfast, for example, with juice, with all that. We don't want uh, to have the biggest collection of vinegar in the world. So Philip, what, uh, where are we? We are in Gagus restaurant. So it's like Turkish kind of food. And the Gagus are actually from, originally from Turkey, but who are later settled here in Moldova. So let's try it out, it looks really good. We just had a soup and was next level. Okay, let's With check it. How good was the soup, the chorba? Very good, very good. Yeah? Lamb, yeah. One of the best chorba you've had? One of the best actually, yeah. Recently, mm. that's really good. One okay, so interesting. Yeah. Pufta mare. You too. Cheers. I've insulted you. Видно, что вы не из наших. Почему? А потому, блин, вся нация, она немножко по-любому отличается. Ну, например, знаете, на кого вы похожи? У меня есть один друг Якуб, он этот из Германии. Ну, немец, как это вы? Да, да, можно сказать. Я не из Германии. Я не родился там. So I have a sweet spot for Kishina and for Moldova based primarily on nostalgia that's because I used to come here like seven eight year, years ago even four or five years ago and it was quite a different vibe back then in the meantime so many Moldovans have gotten either Romanian passports or Russian passports as that's become a lot easier in the last five or six years and as a result so many young people from Moldova in particular young people have left the country to seek their fortune in other metropolises like Moscow if they got the Russian passport or even Dublin or London uh, anywhere in the European Union basically can go and work and just like well over a million Moldovans have gone and done that and as a result the vibe in a city like Chisinau today it's markedly different than it was even five years ago there's just a dearth of youth and energy in the city
pas c'est italien là Que passe C'est espagnol. Ah. Comme espagnol. Comment ça se passe Que tal niña Ah, niña de camisa de hockey. Ça c'est niña de camisa de hockey. Euh, Oh, deixa. Deixa. Acha répète Ouais, de mine. Bine, la revedere. O zi bună, îmi pare bine că v-am cunoscut. Sara. Ha. Sara. Care e importanță? Care e seara? Eu îmi vedești, Liu, să am mică zvelă. Bine, da. 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 Bine. Bine. La revedere. O seară frumoasă. O seară foarte bună. Da. Frumoasă. Pa, pa. La revedere. Я родился в Ирландии, и я родился в город, интересный город, это Голый, это на море, да? И я путешествовал уже много в Украину, по России, по Молдаве, по Румынии, а в Румынии и Беларуси тоже. И сейчас у меня канал на YouTube, где я снимаю видео, типа travel vlog, или я даю совет для иностранцев здесь, в Молдаве или в so a really cool final opportunity has arose here in Kishnau just before I dash to the airport tomorrow and that is to spread my message beyond this YouTube channel to the Moldovan mainstream media because I've been invited on Pro TV here in Kishnau to give an overview of what their country has to offer to the intrepid international traveler. I'm super excited uh, to get uh, to spread my word, my message, what I give you here on the channel to other people might be interested to get in, you know, a foreigner's perspective on their country and probably a little bit different uh, to what might, maybe what they've seen on uh, Bald and Bankrupt and I've got to point out the high points. So super excited to get that opportunity. Travel blogger, I'm a joke. 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 И если люди хотят приехать сюда со мной, можно, мы можем по, по этому говорить. Да. Сколько дней? А, это раз мы были, естественно, 10 дней, а, две выходные. Тоже не было плохо а, 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 прогулять выходные здесь в, в Кишиневе. Мы были на хорошем ресторане, в хорошем бар и тоже на, на дискотеке. Было интересно. Это, это лучше здесь, чем в Ирландии. Я был в Ирландии раньше, а было чуть-чуть скучно. У нас очень хорошая атмосфера в барах, на дискотеке плохая. Но здесь у вас лучше, я думаю, да. И девушки тоже более красиво, можно сказать. So welcome to the real center center of Chisinau. So this is the Arc de Triomphe, similar concept to another European capital that you're almost certainly more familiar with. But I have to say, this is definitely not Paris. This is not a Mikul uh, Paris, uh, little Paris like Bucharest used to be known, which is obviously the capital of Romania nearby. It does not have, I'm never gonna exaggerate, it does not have the same number of options in terms of beautiful places, infrastructure, restaurants, food. Though it does have really good wine here, I have to say that that is one of the highlights. So if you had only watched Mr. Ball's video, you would probably think that basically Chisinau is the capital of, I know, a country in Sub-Saharan Africa. If you look at the economic level that it appeared to have uh, in his video, because he's hanging out with uh, a homeless guy and drinking with him and basically have him beaten up by him. Ah, <laughs> Assaulted. In, uh, in one of his videos, and then obviously the one that went viral, you see very dilap dilapidated parts of the center of Chisinau. Now it's not, you know, there's, there's nice buildings lining the Boulevard Stefan Chalmare, uh, there's some parks, um, it's, and, you know, some other nice historical buildings, not just ones that were built during the Soviet Union. And I think overall, if you were to come here, you could definitely knock 
a good long weekend out of the city. There's enough to see and do and entertainment, uh, especially for the kind of guys that I know that I am normally talking to on this channel. So don't be completely put off um, coming here to Chisinau. And it's definitely not going to be Paris. It's definitely not going to be Kiev, Moscow, Odessa, uh, Lviv, or even Minsk <laughs> in terms of what's on offer. But it is also not the kind of wasteland <laughs> that you would imagine it is if you only watched that video. So definitely give it a shot um, and consider it for a weekend. You'll have fun. One of the great things here is uh, the local wine. People are really friendly and you'll definitely have enough entertainment uh, and places to see and check out and go to the vineyards nearby and take a nice tour there. Go up to Orrevec, uh, which is not so far from Chisinau either. You can go and do that. And of course, then nearby you have uh, Transnistria, uh, the land that officially does not exist. Uh, that's also worth a day trip. So I think you can really knock like, you know, I think it could be a long weekend, like four, four or five days without finding it boring or that you're going to feel uncomfortable. I also didn't find the city particularly dangerous at all to walk around in. Uh, mind you, I do speak Russian and some Romanian, so that always, that always helps in these countries. But I would think it's actually a bit safer than, say, being in Odessa. Um, whilst I don't think crime in Eastern Europe is really that problematic for tourists. And whilst the country might not be economically very strong, Moldovans have a great hospitality themselves, have big hearts. So, Bolsa Mets from us, La Revedere, Din Kishinau, Republika Moldova. Sar Experience.